Look at this lot, a splendid array of great big superbikes of every different shape and size. But did you know the superbike isn't the biggest seller? The biggest seller at the moment are these, the scooter, the modern day stylish scooter. This is one of them, a Peugeot. There are loads of different ones. From Italy you've got Aprilia and Derby and Kajiva and many more. And then of course you've got the usual Japs, they've got the Yamaha and, and Honda and Suzuki and so on. But in the days of old, many years ago, of course you had Vespa and Lambretta. And in fact, across the other side of town is a place who have got exactly those two things. We shall take a blast from the past. Excuse me a second. Beam me up then, Scotty! <coughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, I feel quite at home now. I've been beamed up in my parking and everything. And here I am on a Lambretta and I've got a Vespa next to me here. And this is what you used to be able to get many, many years ago. And there are certain type of people out there who believe that this is the only type of scooter. But is that the case? I don't know what you think, but I know the fellow at the other end of town, he thinks differently. So let's go and beam up and see what he has to say. Beam me up then, Scotty. <coughs> Oh, God, it's a funny sensation, that. Hello, Steve. I'm joined here by Steve Rogerson here at Rogers Motorcycles, where we've got this splendid array of large motorcycles and scooters. So, these modern-day scooters, Steve, why are they so popular? Oh, a number of reasons, really. Uh, very cheap to maintain, very cheap to insure. Um, appeals to all the family, and all family can ride them. That's the thing. What about the legality factor? If you've got a car licence... There is a, a section within it that where it allows you to ride one of these 50s, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, just go out and do it. Yeah, any person with a full care license can ride one with, without L plates. Yeah. They've got a full license for a moped as well. But even if they had to take basic training, it's simple, isn't it? You know, it's yeah. a day course sort of thing, isn't it? And cheap. It's pure training, no test to pass or, any, yeah. pass or anything like that. Excellent. OK, now then, you know, who buys, type of person that buys these things? Oh, God. Um, anybody. You get, I mean, you've got, you got to get the lady shopper, aren't you? You get the lady Because you've got, like, shop. this underneath the seat, there's a huge cavernous big space to stick your mm -hmm. helmet, but you can also put your shopping under there, can't you? You can, and you can put a little box on them at yeah. the back or anything like that. Yeah. But we can get a family walking in the showroom here, and any one member of the family could be the one that's buying it. Yeah, from yeah. From the 16-year-old to the father, to the mother, you know, to the granny. And in city centres, of course, executives and that lot, with the, you know, they want to get in and out of town quick. I mean, that's where there's a big boom sale, isn't there? You know, and it's, it's trendy with uh, some stars as well, isn't it? You know, in, in London and, the, and there's radio DJs and things using them nowadays. There are, it's really yeah. hip, in it? And it styles is. in. Yeah, very, very, yeah, very trick, very... Uh, well, on that basis then, I mean, you know, retro's in as well. OK, so this piece today we're talking about is also the original Vespas and Lambretta scooters mm -hmm. from 20, 30 years ago. Do you really think that these babies are going to be around and about in the future? I don't see any reason why not. I mean, they're so popular now. Uh, who'd have thought 50 years ago that their scooters would have been as popular as they True are True enough, now? you're right. Yeah, you're right. Right, well, that's Steve's opinion on these babies. And I must admit, he knows because he sells plenty of them. But then again, I know a man on the other side of town who's got an opinion about the old ones. Just the same. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa, I'm back, I'm back here again. My Parker on, Mike in hand, and Eric Tudor. Eric knows about these things. Eric, the, the, the latest sort of revival. And is it a late revival? I mean, this is a fairly old machine. Are people back into it again? Well, they're back into it. They talk about new, young blood, but I think what it is, it's people what's uh, Adam, got married, got a mortgage. Uh, the kids are growing up, the mortgage is nearly paid. So they've got scooters again now. And, and they've like, got a, a yeah. few quid spare, I suppose, That's and, it. and they're back in the, yeah. the passion they had before. And they get another, I see, yeah. So, like, this thing you sat on now is, is what, 20 years old, is it? Yeah, this, this is around about 20 years old, yeah. That's to buy something like this, <coughs> that is 20 years old, I mean, will it, will it need something doing to it? Or, I mean, knackered or what? Uh, it depends on what condition it is when you buy it. I mean, th this, we've, it's pretty lucky, like, this has been stored for the last 10 years, so... It's not done that many miles, so this is really a, a good one. You know? Yeah, yeah. And if you, if so, just give us a clue, like what sort of cost will it, it cost somebody out there to buy one of these? Uh, to buy it in, say, the local papers and all that, you would pay anything from five hundred to a thousand pound, I would think, for yeah. a, a model like this because it's a two hundred cc. That's quite a good value for money, I would have thought. I mean, yeah. it seems it to me. But how about buying a new one? Can you buy a new one nowadays? Oh, you can buy new ones like this one, for instance. 
This is brand new, is it? Uh, the difference is it's mo modern technology. What they've done, they've used the best of everything, all the models, and, and built that out of it. And where's this made then? That's actually made in India. Blinking, eh? you never believe it. But the Vespa, for those who don't know, it's an Italian, it's Italian red bit, thing, isn't yeah. it? And yeah. then your Lambrettas as well, they're, they're Italian, but they, they were made elsewhere as well, weren't oh, they? Oh, they were made all over the place. They made, they made them in Germany, they made them in France, and also in India. India as well, yeah. blinking it, they get about. What do you think of this modern day scooter, the latest concept, Rev and Goes? Uh, they're all right in their own way. I mean, as for like women driving them, you know, they, they kick up or the electric start, they go where you want them, they stop when you hit the brakes, you know, they're perfect. But they're not the sort of scooter what you associate me and the older generation what's been into them uh, with. You know, you, you won't catch us on them. We're used to like metal bodies, you know, getting your hands dirty, not, a skirt, not scared of that. And also, the thing is with the plastic scooter, I call them plastics, if you fall off, you're going to have to pay a lot of money. If yeah. you fall off of these, you go in your old shed, you get a tin of filler out, fill them up and repaint them. Got it. And that's mean. it. You know, so these are, in my opinion, are a lot better. Uh, you might have little bits of trouble with them here and there, but I think if you tried one of these, you'd be stuck on them. Really? You'd yeah. get the bug like? Yeah, definitely. Diet. Well, Eric promised me I'd enjoy myself and I'd like it. Well, I do. It's great fun. But I must admit, I do prefer the latest thing where you just rev and go. But anyway, there is one out there in the form of a scooter to suit you.